today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite fall lipsticks slash liquid lipsticks slash slash lip colors all together. So these are my top 10 ones. What's great about all the products that I chose is that they are all affordable. Um, so yeah, I did not mean for it to happen that way, but that's the way the chips fell. So we're just going to leave them like that because I truly love these products and I want to share them with you guys as my top 10 favorite lip colors for fall. So if you're interested in knowing what they are, then just keep watching. I love the fall time when this kind of season comes around because it encourages me and just makes me want to try different darker colors because usually I'm just like a nude um, nudie pink kind of girl and then I'm good. So I encourage you to do the same. If you haven't tried out like a berry dark lip color, then definitely maybe one of these will catch your eye and you will be wanting to try it out. So the first one is this color right here, which, which is by Milani and this is their matte lipstick in the color Flirty. I will show close-ups of them, so don't worry about that. This color is what I'm wearing right now. I love these because they are a comfortable matte color on the lips. Some mattes, I wouldn't say that it's extremely matte on my lips. It's more of like a semi-matte finish, which I'm okay with. It doesn't dry out my lips. Um, and I absolutely love this color. It's more of a berry, a little bit of the violet red undertones in this lip color, which is just beautiful for fall. So, so I absolutely love this color and definitely recommend to try it out for the fall. Alrighty, so for my next lip option, I do have another one from Milani, and this one is a really great one because during the fall time, I still like to wear what I feel most comfortable in, which is like that nude fall or that nude pinky lip color. So this one I really love because it kind of reminds me of Max Velvet Teddy. So this is like more of a really deep brown nude color. Okay, so this is what this lip color looks like. As you can tell, it's a lot more brown. This is the perfect um, brown nude lip color. So I really love this color because it's like a warm brown color, um, but not super brown because it still has that hint of nude in it. And I just think this is a perfect, gorgeous color for the fall time if you're looking for more of a brown nude color for the fall. Alrighty, another one that I have to show you from Milani as well is more of a darker color. And this is the color called Fearless. As you can see, this is a really dark color. And usually I don't tend to gravitate towards colors like these. But again, I wanted to branch out because this is the time of year where I like to try out new colors. Hey guys, so this is what this color looks like on. It actually looks um, pretty dark on camera. But it is so, so pretty. It's a really deep, dark purple, especially in person. Um, this is probably as dark as I personally feel comfortable going, but it's still dark enough for me. I absolutely love this color because it doesn't look black or anything, but it is just a very deep, dark purple. Looking for something deep and dark and purple, but not extremely too dark, um... This is a perfect color because you could still see the hint of purple and there's a little bit of a red undertone in there as well. Again, these lipsticks are super comfortable to wear. Just make sure that you exfoliate your lips before you're wearing any matte lipstick colors so that way they don't pick up on the dry parts on your lips. For the next lip color, I have one from Maybelline, which is one of my favorites. This is called Touch of Spice. This color is more of like a mauve pink color that I absolutely love for the fall time. It has a lot of depth in it. It's not a super bright pink color as you can see, but it still has that warmth. I just think it's a great like fall time, daytime lip color that just will look so pretty. Alrighty, so another one that I wanted to show you guys is one from NYX and this is their Intense Butter Gloss. Now if you watch my channel, you know that I absolutely love their um, butter lip glosses. Now this one is their intense one and I love this color. So if you're looking for more of a gloss than these matte kind of lipsticks, this one is for you. Alrighty, so this is such a beautiful lip gloss color. So if you're not into the matte lipsticks, I definitely recommend to check out these NYX um, intense butter glosses. They're super comfortable comfortable to wear. They're also very glossy on the lips, but as you can see, this one, you can't really even tell what kind of color it is. It has like 
purple undertones in it. There's a little bit of red, but then there's hints of pink in it as well. So this color is just absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want to wear this during the daytime and the nighttime, it's absolutely just gorgeous. This color is more in the berry, um, warm berry family. This color, it has really warm berry undertones in it, which just looks so pretty. Um, I feel like on everyone. So definitely check out these butter lip glosses. They have a ton of colors. Alrighty, so those are all lip choices that are very comfortable to wear. They're matte, but again, they're still very comfortable. And then I showed you guys the one, um, intense butter gloss from NYX. So now I want to move on to full matte lip colors. The first two that I have to show you are from LA Girl and they are their matte flat finish pigment gloss. These are extremely pigmented and extremely matte. So let me show you guys what I have to show you. The first one is called Rebel. So this is what this color looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. This color kind of reminds me of the NYX Butter Lip Gloss just very matte and a little bit deeper. So this color is like more of the light purple, very berry violet colors. It's super pretty with these um, lip glosses, with these matte glosses, definitely make sure that your lips are exfoliated. There's no dry skin on them because once you put these on, they do not budge whatsoever. I still have like a little bit on my hand from yesterday when I was swatching these. And this color, again, is just beautiful. It will last you all day through eating, drinking, whatever you're doing, this will last you. Alrighty, so I had to apply some chapstick just because my lips are burning. Alrighty, there. let's keep going. So the next color that I have to show you is called Backstage. Now this in the container, it looks dark, but it really isn't that dark. It's more of like a red purple berry color. Again, very berry families, but this one has more red in it than anything. Alrighty, so this is what this color looks like. As you can see, it doesn't look as dark as it does in the bottle. Now, if you're looking for a red color for the fall time that's not super bright, super dark, definitely try this color out because it's perfect, again, because it has that red and pink undertones in it and just a pinch of violet, which makes it so much more beautiful. Alrighty, so the next one that I have to show you are from ColourPop. This is called Beeper. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, this color is more on the in the cool tone family. It's definitely mauve. There's a little bit of pink in there, but it's definitely very cool tone, a little bit of gray in there. It's a really, really pretty color for fall. It's very different. Um, and this is personally one of my favorites just because I don't own anything like this color at all. So this is a beautiful mauve grayish um, color that is really, really pretty. Oh, and I thought that I, I would mention that these don't feel as matte or as drying on the lips as the LA Girl ones. These are like, whew, these are pretty matte. So if you're looking for something more comfortable to wear, then check these out. I think these are only like $6 and I think I got these for like 3 So just depends on how well you wear or how comfortable matte colors feel on you. Personally, the ColourPop ones feel not as drying or as matte on my skin or on my lips. Alrighty, so uh, the next one that I want to show you is called Tool from ColourPop as well. This color is like a brown, reddish, um, this color is really hard to explain. Again, I will post like swatches of it so that way you guys can see it. But it's just a really, really pretty, um, it is again in the berry family, but it's much deeper. It has a lot more brown in it, um, red, not as berry, not as bright, uh, like red or raspberry, but it's a lot darker and deeper, which I love this color, um, because it's just different than all the rest. Alrighty, so my last one that I want to show with you guys is a reddish color called Avenue. To throw in another red color that I really, really loved. This one is a really pretty one because again, it's not too dark, but it's not too bright either. This is more of a blue undertone red, so it's a lot darker and deeper, and once it dries, it does turn just a tad bit darker. So if you're looking for a great red color for the fall time, I definitely recommend to check this one out. I feel like for me, this is like a perfect red for me because I'm not a person that wears reds often, and I do have like one favorite one from MAC, but otherwise, I really like this color for the fall time. Like this color would complement every skin tone, 
Alrighty guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 favorite um, lipsticks slash lip glosses for the fall time. So let me know how you guys enjoyed this video by commenting down below. Also comment what you guys want to see from me next. Don't forget to uh, like this video if you guys did and don't forget to subscribe so that way you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. What am I? Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look that I'm